Good evening. Tonight I wanted to share a new bread recipe that we're using at the house to make our loaf bread. It's a somewhat organic, as much as it can be for us, whole wheat uh, loaf bread. And we make it with some of our homemade maple syrup, raw cane sugar, salt, yeast, and all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour. So I'll show you what we do and tomorrow we'll finish out the process and show you a few other things we do. Like I said, this is as organic as we can do right now. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to get my yeast activated. And the way I do that is I do a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. One tablespoon of yeast. Then I add warm water until it's at one and two third cups. That'll start the activation on the yeast. I like to let it sit for about five minutes before I mix it into the flour. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of organic sugar in the raw. I'm going to set that to the side and let it do its thing. In our bowl, I'm going to get two cups of all-purpose flour. And one cup. our ground whole wheat flour. To that I add one teaspoon of salt. And mix that together. This is a no knead bread which makes it easy for us to make every single night and have enough around. Now that our yeast mix is getting good and frothy, I add that to the mix. And it doesn't take me but a minute to get this together. Just stir it until it all comes together. Cover it with our towel and let it sit on the counter overnight to rise. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll show you the rest of the process. Something I did want to show you in the background is we are finishing up more syrup today. We pulled about 20 gallons of sap out of the trees uh, between yesterday and today. I did the majority of my boiling outside, but I finished the last little bit here in the stainless steel pot. Good morning. We're going to finish out the no need peasant bread today. Uh, again, it's a great slicing loaf, uh, awesome for French toast, also great for sandwiches. So I'll show you exactly what I have to do to finish. The only amount of oil in this whole recipe, a light coat on the pan and a light coat on my hands. I just coat my hands so that I can roll the dough without it sticking to me. So the dough rose beautifully. We're going to take the dough out and I'm going to roll it in on itself so that it's a nice little log. Lay it in the bread pan, kind of push it down a little bit. And again, cover and rise for 
at least another two hours. After that two hours, I'm going to uh, bake at 375 for 32 to 35 minutes. And I know this recipe isn't a weighed dough. I didn't weigh the flours out and things because that's just a pain in the butt when I'm trying to make it every day. So I made it with two cups of white flour, one cup of wheat flour, and uh, I'll let it rise and I'll be back. So I'm preheating my oven to 375 and I've let the dough rise for about three hours. It's ready to bake. All right, oven's preheated, bread goes in, and we'll set our timer for 32 minutes. And I'll show you the finished result. So the timer's going off, the bread is ready. I'll pull it out and let you see. Excuse me, bud. All right. When the bread comes out, it's nice and crusty. But uh, leave it to rest on the rack for two hours and it becomes soft and sliceable. Say it again, Paul. Hi! You ready? So one of the main reasons we love this bread is you can cut it any thickness you want. And for two days it stays soft. This one was made uh, three days ago actually. Still soft and you can still cut it any uh, thickness you want. Usually doesn't last that long around here. We are a family of six. Thank you for watching.